guys, my name is Shafania. Hey, how you doing? I'm Ricky. And we're going to do the fishbowl conversation activity. Um, so we'll go through what the directions are really quick. What we do is we have 10 questions inside of this. Let's say it's a bowl, <laughs> even though it's not. Um, and from those 10 questions, whoever pulls first has to answer the question first. And then the other person will answer the question. And these are just relationship questions. So I'm going to post this. Like I said, I'll post the instructions below. So you ready to get started? All right. Hey, so the first one is favorite memory of us. Uh, we was in uh, Paris, France. Um, we were at the Louvre Muse Museum. And uh, we took a picture right underneath the... Uh, where the big diamond shape meets the other big diamond shape thing and we put our hands in there together and took a picture with it. Say, favorite memory of us. Um, oh, I'm gonna go way back before we got married. <clears throat> I don't know why this is so memorable for me, but I, I remember when I was like late for my curfew. And it was all because there's this beautiful um, moonlight that night and we were outside and I don't know whose car we were on. We were like leaned up on the car and we were just looking up and just talking about our future. Um, that just, I don't know, I just remember that because it was, it was just a priceless, um, memorable moment many years ago. Okay, second question. What did you think of me the first time? I guess the first time I saw you. Oh gosh, high school. The first thing I thought was, I mean, that word swag didn't exist, but I thought, this dude can dress, and he had the prettiest smile um, and the prettiest eyes. That was the, my first, I guess, the first time I saw him before he actually spoke. So, pretty smile. Yeah, could dress. Yeah. Okay, so what did I think of the first time? Uh, first time I saw Shafanya, um, let's see, in high school. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I just really thought like she could dress really well and she was very cute, so at the time I was like, yeah, she's, she's pretty hot, so. Oh, I'm not hiding. I'm just kidding. Oh, your so, turn. I'm just kidding. Oh, sounds sweetie. Like a, a different, different level of hotness now. Oh. How does your partner make you a better person? Look them in the eyes and thank them. Uh, so she makes me a better person by kind of complimenting me on the things that um, that I need to accomplish so she helps me achieve those goals and that's how she compliments me so and yeah, thank you mm -hmm. Ricky makes me a better person because I'm, I'm really silly and outlandish at times and creative and no matter what idea I come up with you're always you're always wanting to support me you're always there to kind of, you don't ever say that's stupid or that's never going to work. You always just kind of be like, that's pretty cool or go for it or see what you can do about it. So I really do thank you for that. I think you're the reason why this whole YouTube thing kind of went forward because I kept talking about it and then boom. So I really do appreciate that. I love you. Yes. Okay. So what is your favorite thing about me? Um, favorite thing about uh, my wife, uh, uh, so many. Oh, that's uh, so I'll probably have to go with remembering everything. <laughs> <laughs> she remembers everything. Oh, so, God. It's good. If you don't write it down, hey, don't worry. You ask her. She's got it. So. I'm laughing because it's true. Yes. So, so your favorite thing, my favorite thing about you. So, I guess, you know, it's, I would say just his ability to stay calm. And I would say calm, and I've said this in before, calm and content. Um, we're a military family, and things can get really hectic sometimes. And I just noticed that with all these different transitions and different things going on, he just always has the ability to just kind of push through. Um, not that there's no emotion, but there's definitely emotion there, but you just persevere. Like, you just kind of like, it's gonna get done. And on the inside, I'm stressing out, and I'm about to go crazy, but I think because how he is and his personality is so cool, it just makes me want to just be cool as well. So. so, when did you first know you were in love with me? When he told me he had decided he was going to join the military. But it wasn't because he said we were going to join the military, it's what you said. Do you remember what you said? 
He said, and this is probably like his second time trying to join because family didn't really want him to join at first. He said that I want to make this, this decision because, because of not just for you, but for our future family. And I was like, oh my God, it was like, that made sense. I really knew I was in love with her when I was trying to talk to her. She was at school and I would come down there to the school and everything. And you know, I come down there so many times trying to get her attention and everything. So I, I, at that point, you probably have to say that you're probably in love with this person. So, cause you spend a lot of time to get out, to reach out and touch them. And you know, you just can't, but you want to be there where they are. So it's probably a in love scenario. So when she was in school, I was trying to be there with her and you can't do that. So I knew that. Um, I mean, that's part of the scenario of being in love when you want to be next to that person and you can't, so. But trying to get down there almost every other weekend to spend time, so. Yeah, you did. Okay. Last one, guys. <laughs> if you had to give me a funny nickname based on my personality or some part of me, what would it be? Yeah, like a <laughs> safety officer or sa safety. <laughs> you gotta explain that one to them. So, Shafani likes to be um, over-exaggeratedly. I don't even know if that's a word. Safe about everything. So, um, she is the safety patrol officer. If she could do any other job than what she does now, she'd be good at any corporation safety program. She can be the CEO of the safety. Um, is it that bad? Of anything. If it's safe, she'll think of it be safer. So, if anybody can do it, she might can do it. He's telling the truth, that's why it's funny. I mean, I'm... Okay, so he's always very serious. At least that's what you guys see. But what y'all don't know is when the camera is really off and he knows it's off on purpose. Yeah, he does all types of silly stuff. He's just like, I'm gonna do it in front of the camera. But he's like, he's like the military... I don't know how to... What's the other side of you? Like, I can't even describe. Like, he's he's silly. He's really silly. Like, but I don't know what to get. I don't know, like, I don't know what kind of, like, soldier silly guy. I don't know what to name it, but he makes me laugh a lot. And we have these conversations a lot where we sit down and talk about different things. Not so much questions like this, but um, it's beautiful when you're really able to take that time out. And I don't know if they know, we've got two little ones upstairs, uh, 10 and 4. 10 year old girl and a four year old boy, but this was just great to get this time together. So, did you want to say anything else? I don't know, that's it. All right, <laughs> take care guys. Hey, make sure you subscribe to our channel. It's The Dean Crew, and we'll have some more videos coming up, especially over this break. We've got two more we need to put up. But um, y'all have a blessed night, and definitely try this and post it.